The purpose of this research presentation is to evaluate the ability of biogas to replace current fuels. Before going any further, I will explain why it is important to society to look for alternative fuel sources. Our reliance on fossil fuels is only short-term due to its immense harvest that has led to insufficient supply to withhold economies in the near future. As you can see from this graph, we have reached the peak of oil consumption, and researchers calculate that if we carry on consuming fossil fuels at this rate, our known oil deposits will be gone by 2088. What is more, due to this rapid decrease in supply, fuel prices have increased roughly by 253% since 1983, from about 36.7 pence a litre to 129.9 pence in 2011. Other fuels include ethanol, which is a component of the current fuel in automobiles, E85, a biofuel composed of 85% ethanol and around 15% petrol. So apart from fossil fuel availability, it creates an opportunity cost for crop dedication. In the United States, the most common feedstock for ethanol production is corn, and 14.3% of corn production in 2006 was solely dedicated to ethanol production. This, of course, creates a whole new dilemma on the efficiency of resource allocation. Therefore, an alternative source would have to account for economic savings, as well as reduce the negative externalities that current fuels cost to society. Biogas is essentially the gaseous product composed primarily of methane gas from the anaerobic digestion of organic waste by methanogenic bacteria. This organic waste can be found in any household across the globe, from cooked and raw food waste to excreta. To produce biogas from a digester, we first start with a mixture of biodegradable organic matter and water mashed to a pulp. Mohan Karte collects leftover food from their neighbors, banana peel, onion skins, even old garlands of flowers, all get fed to the bacteria. It is placed in a pipe that leads to the center of the lower part of a container called the fermenter. In here, the methanogenic bacteria is cultivated. Due to the lack of oxygen, these bacteria digest the organic waste through anaerobic respiration in a process called methane fermentation. The product of this process is mainly methane. The gas then rises and passes to the gas holder container through a pipe. As more biogas is produced, the gas holder container will rise higher. The gas holder keeps the biogas in the container until needed. If methane has to be used, then the uppermost pipe's valve should be opened into another pipe leading to any transducer that converts the chemical bond energy of methane into the desired energy form. For instance, it can be passed into a stove and be converted into heat energy or even be used to fire a diesel engine to generate electricity. Apart from methane, methane fermentation also produces a digested. It serves as a nitrogen-rich fertilizer in soil amendments. Nitrogen in conventional compost is largely volatilized into the air and cannot be used by plants. However, anaerobic digestion traps and retains the nitrogen in the mixture, converting it into ammonia a form more readily absorbed by plants. Therefore, this digested enhances plant growth. Biogas yields two to five times more fuel per acre than any other liquid biofuel. Because biogas is produced from organic matter, it will be available in every household across the globe, from rich families to those who live in poverty. A six meter cube biodigester can cost from $350 to $500. It is not that expensive since it is a one-time payment, unlike monthly bills. Biogas digesters save money on land on garbage dumping. In many cities like Kerala, the waste give rise to sanitary problems. Maybe one of the most important advantages of using biodigesters, especially in developing rural areas where pathogens may prevail, is the destruction of bacteria present in waste due to the absence of oxygen, reducing the potential for infections like dysentery and enteritis. This is very important to a touristic area in India called Kerala. Traditionally in India, food waste is dropped on the ground, where it is eaten by birds and animals. But in the cities, this is becoming less acceptable. Not only does it cause smells, the rotting debris also attracts rats. So one problem that was bothering us when we came here, how would we dispose of our uh, waste? Very, very convenient way of disposing our waste without any headache. 
biogas does not need crop fuel dedication like E85. this in fact it came as a blessing a beautiful system i like it we are very very happy with it and we just hope that more people would go about installing this my main dream is that for the installation of domestic or decentralized waste treatment system in each and every houses each and every institutions each and every slaughterhouse and market.